What's up everybody, welcome to another review on the channel. Today we're looking at 83 overall for the Mendy. Thank you for the support on my other videos. If you like this video, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more content in the future. And let's get into it. Um, this card's coming in at 90k on the PlayStation Xbox. I got lucky, I packed him untradeable. You can put him at left back or left wing back. Uh, he's four star, five star, which is something that's really unique about him, which always makes him so good in FIFA, like every year. Uh, left footed, he does have a real facing game. It's not updated, but it still, it looks like him. He's 5'11 with high, high work rates, and he has the control to accelerate out the bat. He can get lengthy if you put architect chem style on him, which I think a lot of people are gonna do, which is what I did in the first place. He also has the flare trait. As we all know, this is basically the most meta left back that we've had in the game for the last like three years he's had the exact same card like basically every year and honestly i'm gonna make this quick he's honestly still like super overpowered i think he's the best left back in the game i have um tried Tio hernandez and this guy is way better just because of the four star five star honestly it takes him to another level coming in with 92 pace um 91 excel 92 sprint speed uh, really fast already and if you put the architect chem style on him he obviously gets the lengthy accelerate and making him even faster in game it feels like so don't worry about his pace he's one of the fastest in the game for sure shooting his stats are like okay but honestly if you're playing overlapping fullbacks um and you get him into the box since he has five star weak foot it's only 60 finishing but he can still do a decent job if you get him into an easy position i actually had a crazy overhead kick with him off a corner and he actually scored a couple of corners for me passing now his passing is okay 75 vision 878 crossing 82 short passing 79 long passing and 72 curve but like I said, I think you want to play them with the architect camp style. And that does crazy things to his passing. He comes out with 97 short passing and 83 long passing, which is really, really good. With five star weak foot, you don't have to worry about getting onto a strong foot to get a good pass. And I think having a five star weak foot on a fullback, if you're playing overlapping especially, is really, really cool to have because you can either cross with your left foot at the edge or cut inside and do a cross like that which makes it really hard to determine what you're gonna do and then 70 dribbling it's not bad for a fullback but honestly he didn't feel like that crazy but he was still good enough 81 agility 79 balance 82 reactions 76 block control 77 dribbling 78 composure so all high 70s in dribbling um you shouldn't really be expecting to do too much crazy dribbling with him in the first place but honestly, it's not horrible. And then honestly, his defending stat is low. It's only 78 with 79 interceptions, 72 heading accuracy, 77 defensive awareness, 81 stand tackle, 80 sliding tackle. Honestly, literally all that stuff is a lie. He is literally so good at defending. He's always tracking back. His work rates make a huge difference on him. He's faster than everybody. Even his heading accuracy was good. Like I said earlier, I scored a couple of headers with him off corners. And honestly, he's, this card is just so well-rounded in so many different ways. And he's just really seriously one of the elite cards in the game. Now, honestly, not only do I love playing with him, I honestly hate playing against him. I think you guys have all experienced what it is like to play against this card. Because he's in like every weekend league team, it feels like. And then physicality, once you put an architect camp style on it, he goes up to 90 strength 86 aggression 87 jumping 90 stamina he has 90 stamina already that's crazy honestly the physicality stats are so good with that chem style seriously overall elite card honestly if this card was to get a rating it'd be 10 out of 10 because honestly i don't know what more you'd expect the only thing i guess you can say is i guess boost up his shooting and dribbling you know just to make him like completely insane and have no weakness at all we're in october right now you know it's the beginning of the game this card is gonna do justice for like a really really long time honestly like he's so good but honestly i don't think you guys needed me to tell you if he's good or not i think you guys have experienced playing this card but honestly you want to know if he's worth it or not to pay 100k for it. and the truth is i don't know if putting 100k to one position is always the best thing but especially towards a fullback i think if you're competing in foot champ trying to get the highest rank and you're looking for the most meta team this is the most meta left back you can get but if you're starting out or let's say you pack this card tradable and you don't know if you should keep him or sell him and i think using that 90 to 100k right now could really benefit you elsewhere to improve the rest of your team but still if you have the extra coins and you're looking for a video to tell you to justify that this card really is the best of the best he really is he is the top level with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this in the future subscribe like the video if you like the video i hope you guys are enjoying fifa 23 i'm enjoying it a lot i'm having a lot of fun i'll see you all on the pitch man have a good day